All right. Hey, hey, Farmstead families. Miss Michelle here. We've got another book. Um, hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're getting outside a lot and exploring. This is a fun book about um, kind of about the rainforest. It's called Welcome to the Greenhouse by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Laura Reagan. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, is that an iguana? All right, here we go. Welcome to the greenhouse. Welcome to the hot house. Welcome to the land of the warm, wet days. There are no doors in the greenhouse, yet strong lianas bar the way. There are no windows in the greenhouse, yet ropey vines frame the views. There are no wooden floors in the greenhouse, only fallen leaves and white rootlets and fungal threads. There are no walls in the greenhouse, only the giant forest trees. There is no roof in the greenhouse, only the canopy of leaves, where the sun and rain poke through narrow slots. If you look up on a sunny day, you can sometimes catch the sun doing that in our mountains. <gasps> where the slow green-coated sloth And the quick-fingered capuchin make their slow, quick ways from room to room in the greenhouse, in the dark green, light green, emerald green, bright green, copper green, blue green, ever new greenhouse. Can you see all those different colors of green that they're talking about? But it is not all green in the hot greenhouse. A flash of blue hummingbird, a splash of golden toad. A lunge of waking lizards, a plunge of silver fish. A slide of coral snake through leaves, a glide of butterflies through air, past crimson flowers, past, past showy orchid bowers. Everywhere color threads through, spreads throughout the hot green house. And this is not a quiet house, not in the day, with the ahoo, ahoo, ahoo of the howler troop welcoming the dawn, with the crinch crunch of longhorn beetles chewing through wood, with the pick buzz hum buzz of a thousand thousand bees droning over flowers. What are some word sounds you hear when you're outside? With the high chitter chitter of the golden lion tamarind warning off intruders, with the crick 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 of keel billed toucans feeding on the ripe sweet figs, with the sniff 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 beneath the fig tree where the wild pig picks through the fallen fruit. This is not a quiet house, not even in the night, with the chur chur of chorusing frogs from limbs and logs, from trunks and leaves, from water's edge, from the rocky ledge, welcoming the dark. Look at all those frogs. With the qua, 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 and the boat build herons fishing in the river, with the whoop, whoop, whoosh of the fluttering bats flying through the evening air, with the twittery, twitteries of the kinkajous calling from the tops of trees. Can you see the kinkajous in the tops of the trees? Alert for the soft growl of the ocelot on the prowl for its next meal. This is a loud house, a bright house, a day house, a night house, a wet house, a warm house, a single and a swarm house, a monkey house, a tree house, a fish and bird and bee house. There's our buddy again. Welcome to the greenhouse and the hot summer days.
Did you know? Tropical rainforests cover only 6% of our Earth, but they are home to two-thirds of all the species of plants and animals in our world. You would think that we would be taking very good care of this greenhouse. However, in the last hundred years, we have cut down over half the world's rainforests. Today, we are destroying 50 acres a minute. Every minute. That's a lot of acres. If we do not do something soon, there will be no more greenhouse for the monkeys and fish and birds and bees and beetles and wild pigs and bats and kinkajous and all the hundreds of thousands of flowers and fruits and trees. And not for us either. I hope you enjoyed Welcome to the Greenhouse.